What's your most mind-blowing moment in life, where things got so serendipitous it felt unreal? I'm from a small bumpkin town and now I live in a bustling suburb of a large metro about 30 miles away. Was eating at a Bojangles for the first time in many years and looked out the window at the road. I saw an old green single-wide trailer being towed down the road and I called my mom and asked if someone removed the trailer from the property we used to live on. She said yes, because my parents sold the property recently and the new owners have a trailer removed that day, so I got to wave goodbye to the old trailer from inside of Bojangles. It was like seeing an old friend. Went to a concert with my best friend of 20 years, saw a lot of our bands that we've loved since our childhood to now Spanish concert in LA. Everything about it was awesome and I couldn't have imagined spending it with anyone but her. We left the concert and it was a shit show finding an Uber to take us home. I looked up and saw a falling star, and made a wish. She asked me what did I wish for and I said an Uber because we had been waiting out in the cold for like 30 minutes. A minute later my Uber guy says he's here lol. Just was an amazing experience. I once had a very vivid dream that I was walking down the street and a black car pulled up alongside me, and Philip Seymour Hoffman got out and made small talk. Random but memorable to me for some reason. A few years later I had moved to NYC and was walking through Midtown to my friend's apartment. I stopped at an intersection and a black car pulls up to the curb, and Philip Seymour Hoffman gets out. I didn't want to bother him but we did smile at each other. He was on his way to play Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman on Broadway. I go to Omegle for three consecutive nights, talking to strangers and share my problems there. One time I decided to go to Omegle at 9am because I was feeling a bit down and guess what? I met this genuine American guy. He's silly and super kind. In that moment my heart skipped a beat, felt like I'm emotionally attached and my soul was too. We talked there for an hour and the site luckily didn't act up and didn't skip. He is my boyfriend for almost a year now, smiley face. Ethan, lovey. I love you okay? I can't wait to see you in two years. My family was at a park near our house. A butterfly wouldn't leave us alone adorable and eventually it landed on my wife's shoulder and on my son's finger. Once it landed, we saw the coloring and realized it was the same butterfly that my mill used to dress up as she loved butterflies and found excuses to put on that costume. Not saying it was my mill, but my mill definitely believed in an afterlife and how often does a butterfly just straight up not leave you alone, and also ignore the 30 other people at the park? This was about 8 years ago, a group of friends and I were headed to a game store and were talking about the terrible drivers in our friend group. We all agreed our friend Steve was the worst because he was always on his phone while driving. As we pass an on-ramp for the highway, we almost get run into by a car that swerved over into our lane. As we look over, it was Steve, on his phone. We were dumbfounded. The day before, I lost an Apple Watch. Two days later, when biking, I fell off. Many lucky things happened. I managed to jump into the three feet of grass patch along the road without injury. My bike was perfectly fine. My Apple Watch came out of my pants legs, and for passerby, it looked like some Mission Impossible thing where the guy jumps off and in a fluid motion, recovers. I have a super duper shy and quiet friend who is very difficult to hold the conversation with in the class because of his shyness. One day I was shocked when I found his social media account because he was very confident in the picture and I never knew he had a girlfriend. He is like a completely different person outside of school. Lol. I dreamt I was on a cot in some warehouse homeless shelter type place. What was weird was that out the window was a flat roof. Like I was on a level that ended at the window, but the floor underneath me continued. I broke my leg a few days later and found myself lying in a hospital bed and looking out a window onto that flat roof. Long time autistic friend I found in a particular fandom some 12 years ago and I realized we actually were classmates back in elementary school. We just kinda blanked out those years since they were so horrible. So we actually knew each other for way longer than either of us could have thought. We were on a trip in Croatia, driving through the dense city streets, trying to find a place to park. Out of boredom I start singing Batman theme. Na 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 and when I said Batman I looked out the car window and there he was a kid in a Batman costume. I'm on this epic road trip, and I accidentally dropped my favorite bracelet in a massive park. After hours of searching, Feeling defeated, a bird swoops down, picks up my bracelet, and drops it right into my hand. It was like a magical moment, and I couldn't believe my luck. Once randomly bumped into my childhood best friend in a bustling Tokyo crowd after years of no contact. Turns out, we booked the same tour on opposite sides of the world. Small world, 
big surprise as anyone else at a friendship reunion in the most unexpected place, found a handwritten letter from my dad on the 20th anniversary of his death. It was a poem that I read Kipling when I was going through a split and feeling lost. It's now framed and makes me smile most days. I posted a picture of a tree being removed from my new backyard in a digital trading card discord and another guy told me I had bought his house. I bought his house.